Hello. If you too, as a company like we do at I do, are interested to manage your content creation process using Asana, you might consider what we have designed and we call the content factory in Asana. So what we call the content factory is actually a, a series of projects. For example, here in that team, social media, we have a series of different Uh, projects, team meeting, campaign, etc. And today we will talk about the content factory group of projects with one main content factory project designed to help you coordinate the creation process from ID to finalized uh, content. The content calendar that will use the calendar view of Asana to give you an overview on a monthly basis of your different contents the way they are planned and then we will have one content per channel let's start right away with the content factory project the content factory you will see multiple sections first the ideas section where you can store your ideas before the creation process as a reminder ideas are tasks they can be created as a new task, or you can also multi-home an existing task from another project in the Content Factory project. Then, as soon as you're ready with your ideas, you will move them to the creation process section and automatically will be added three subtasks, one per channel. You will then use the main task here to create your content, translation, eventual visuals, and the subtask will be used for the planification of the content on the different channels and will be visible in the content calendar that we'll see in a second. This is your content calendar. That's a great way to visualize your different publication posts on the different uh, social media channels or other channels and all that while being connected to the main task in the uh, content factory project. Two levels of colors, one being for the channel and the other one here being for the status of the post. So you can know my post that is planned to be published the 10th year is ready to be published or this one is not ready yet and is still to be written. And connected to that content calendar are coming the channel dedicated project. As much as you have channels, you will have projects. For example, here for Instagram or here for LinkedIn and here for YouTube. Those projects are dedicated to the channel and are a way to have your own specific process of publication on those different channels, giving you the opportunity uh, to really focus on YouTube. Do you need to do specific stuff for YouTube, create subtitles, for example, uh, you will manage that specific uh, process in the YouTube dedicated channel. Coming back to the content factory to show you some backstage of the automations of the rules. This is, for example, the rule that enable the move of the task from ID to the section uh, creation process. And as soon as you do that, we will add the different subtasks. We will also move here the custom fields or move to the section, the two are possible. This is a double uh, type of rule. And here in the subtask, it's important to note that those subtasks will be directly here connected to the right project. This is how you can really make sure that the subtask will be connected to the calendar and to the channel uh, project. I hope that was clear. The content factory designed by iDo is a simple but powerful way to support your multiple teams involved in the content creation process in Asana and also to monitor and track the who is supposed to do what and for when. 
If you are interested by such a system, you can contact us, I do, to implement it in your Asana environment. Good luck with Asana. Bye.